Hey, what is going on guys? In my last video, I covered playing the 3DS with an Xbox One controller. Now that was freaking really cool, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the next level and actually play the 3DS with an Xbox One controller on the TV. The bottom screen is gonna be a little bit delayed. Um, that's just because the way NTR is set up. Is the top screen responsive enough to be able to play this game? Let's find out. There is a little bit of unresponsiveness. Um, hmm. It's not so unresponsive that it makes it impossible to go. The viewer without NTR is actually fat. It's a little bit faster if you just play with the regular viewer itself. It's actually perfectly fine to be able to play. So here's kind of a one-to-one -one ratio of the game, so you can see how much input lag uh, it has and whatnot. It's pretty good. Um, like I said, there's just a little tiny bit of input lag, though. And as I'm playing this, I'm playing watching the TV screen. Um, I'm looking at the NTR viewer, not OBS. It's a little bit delayed, but it's within that safe zone that it's still satisfying to play it's uh, not absolute too laggy that it's unpractical um it's very useful oh shoot that was user error all right you guys i got super smash brothers 3ds loaded up right now i have made some set changes in the obs settings i changed it to 60 fps instead of 30 fps since most of the games run from 30 to 60 fps and that has made a difference in how responsive it is so let's see if smash brothers is possible to be played on the tv conveniently and uh responsively this is a, a modded version of smash brothers by the way it's a it's called smash turbo i'll be covering it in a mod showcase in the future um, I did turn down the bottom screen too, so the bottom screen is pretty bad. Uh, let's change it to a level 9. Yeah, the bottom screen, you don't usually need it, so that's why it's really choppy. Priority is on the top screen. The Smash Brothers with an Xbox One controller through 3DS. Oh, did I just. It looks like I teleported right there. Oh my. Oh, that's because I'm playing Smash Turbo. That's why. Um, because of the mod I'm playing, uh, Link is apparent. Oh my gosh, Link can execute his attacks so quickly, man. So far, this feels great. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is just a weird mod, you guys. I forgot about this mod. You can jump four times. Yeah, guys, this feels very, very responsive. I changed the 60 FPS. Uh, I very much advise you to change your OBS to 60 FPS because it does make the difference. Ah, oh, this mod is so weird. All the attacks are pretty much immediately uh, doable. I don't feel any sort of input lag, anything that makes me think twice about what I'm doing. Um, you know, you're not getting the full 60 FPS in this game, so in a way you do have that disadvantage, but um, honestly, if you're just you know playing with some friends, or you are, uh, you know, doing streams or, or you're recording or something like that, I could see this being a real viable option. Finally! So with the NTR viewer mod and the NTR redirection mod, you can essentially use your 3DS as a little home console for your TV. Surprisingly, doing the video streaming and the input redirections, there was really no latency between the games, especially in a game like Super Smash Brothers that's kind of intensive on the CPU. It still didn't drop any inputs or any input frames. It worked great on the actual streaming video, so I'm seriously happy with that. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like it up, subscribe it up, and I will catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, crew.